to both of these terms, uh, we don't have a definitive answer. What we can do, though, is um, trace back the first appearance of the word Helen. And this appears in Homer, in Book 2 of the Iliad, or one of the early appearances. And it is referred to a territorial area, which is near the river Spergios and near Thermopylae. We also find it associated with uh, the uh, companions of Achilles, uh, who come from that area around Sperchios. Um, there is also a mention of the word uh, Panhelin uh, that appears for companions of Aes, of Locrus. Around the Persian Wars, um, in Herodotus' histories, we hear for the first time the idea of Hellas and Helin as a, an ethnic category, uh, which unites uh, people um, who share lineage, language, uh, religion, and customs. The male name Helene was a son of Duke Alion. From him come Dorus, uh, Aeolus, and Zuthos, who is the father of Ion. And from Helen come all the tribes of the Dorians, the Aeolians, and uh, the Ionians. On the other hand now, um, one of the daughters of Deucalion has a son called Grecos, and that daughter is Pandora. So Pandora, uh, in a, um, a union with Zeus, gives birth to a uh, son, Grecos. So you would have also the term Romeos that referred to the citizen of the Roman Empire. Uh, that was one of the appellations of the Greeks during the time of the Byzantine Empire. You also had um, Helen during the Byzantine Empire that uh, acquired this uh, association with the ancient Greeks. And it was at one point a, a negative association when during the Byzantine Empire, Greece was Christianized. So the idea of the Helene referred to those that were not following the religion of Greek Orthodoxy, but um, uh, were pagans. So you had the Romeos was associated later with a post-independence, with those who uh, wanted Greece to belong to the Greeks and not to have Western influences and let's not forget that independence was uh, achieved with the help of Western powers. And the first um, king of Greece was King Otto in 1834. The trend of those who wanted Greece to be free of Western influences and a lot would be more liberal in their ideas. They wanted the word Romeos more than Greek or Hellene. The idea of Hellene again brought um, values that were uh, claiming a lineage from ancient Greece and a continuity from ancient Greece and the idea of Greece or the sort of the word, the term Greek seemed to be freer of the association of either um, um, the ancient Hellenic civilization and to be referring to a more a wider encompassing of Greek history. Let's not forget that the uh, national narrative of the Greek history tried to link ancient Greece through the Byzantine Empire to the post-independence time and create a, a linear history that would encompass all these periods. Mm -hmm.